Automotive enthusiasts are always eager to learn about more innovatively crafted vehicles. But have you ever heard about secret pickup trucks? Yeah, you heard it right. There are some that you've never laid eyes on. So, we are back with another thrilling content where we will explore 50 secret pickup trucks of all time you've never seen. We assure you that this one will surely leave you amazed as we move on and on, unveiling these secrets buried in the history of the automotive world. Are you ready to dive into the world of automotive secrets? Buckle up. On number 50, we have the 1991 GMC Cyclone. Did you know, in this EV era, the 1991 GMC Cyclone is highly capable of achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds. Just step back in time and you'll realize how groundbreaking that feat was because nowadays it may seem very normal. Imagine a truck capable of not just keeping pace with, but potentially outperforming some of the most renowned supercars of its time. It's no wonder the automotive world was left stunned in disbelief after this. So what made it a beast like this? A turbocharged V6 engine churning out 280 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque delivered via a four-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive system. With its limited production run spanning only two years and a total of 2,995 units produced, this legendary truck has secured its place in automotive history. And to be specific about its looks, it opposed the flashy looks of sports cars with a subtle and understated exterior appearance resembling a regular GMC Sonoma pickup. And believe it or not, such unassuming looks allowed it to fly under the radar, making it a true sleeper car that could surprise opponents at stoplights. On number 49, we have the 1978 Ford F-150 freewheeling. Another hidden gem is the 1978 Ford F-150 freewheeling, boasting vibrant and eye-catching exterior graphics and designs, including bold stripes and intricate patterns, making it easily recognizable on the road. Of course, buyers can personalize their trucks with a range of options, including various paint schemes, wheel designs, and interior enhancements. It's hard to believe, but this level of customization was somewhat ahead of its time, making each freewheeling F-150 feel unique to its owner. Did you know? Ford offered a range of inline six engines for the F-150. Additionally, it came equipped with various V8 engine options for those seeking more power and towing capability. These included the 302 cubic inch Windsor V8, the 351 cubic inch Windsor V8, and the larger 400 cubic inch Cleveland V8. Furthermore, it did offer a diesel engine option during the late 1970s. This iconic vehicle entered the market for a limited time and in limited quantities. And yes, this exclusivity contributes to its status as a secret pickup. On number 48, we have the 1978 Dodge Low Red Express. Let's unveil the secret of the Low Red Express, which was crowned with the title of the fastest production vehicle in the United States. Surprisingly, as the muscle car era started fading away due to high gas prices, strict safety rules, and expensive insurance, Dodge stepped up in 1978 with something special the Lil Red Truck, also known as the Lil Red Express. This truck was like no other, speeding up to 100 miles per hour faster than any other American vehicle at the time. Under its hood, be ready to gaze at a powerful engine, originally designed for police cars, with 225 horsepower and 295 pound-foot of torque. But wait, we're not done yet. It wasn't just powerful, it looks super cool too. The Lil Red Express has real oak siding, pine flooring, and gold graphics that made it stand out. Step in to enjoy its comfort with a special steering wheel and a shiny engine bay. And it's no surprise that people loved it. Over 2,000 were made in 1978, with even more in 1979. Over the years, the Little Red Express has become a cultural icon and a symbol of the American muscle truck era. With its unique blend of performance, style, and nostalgia, it has engraved a very special place in automotive history. On number 47, we have the Lincoln Blackwood 2002. Lincoln Blackwood is often an overlooked vehicle with its luxurious creation in the realm of pickup trucks. Unveiled by Lincoln, a division of the Ford Motor Company in 2002, the Blackwood surprised everyone by seamlessly blending luxury and utility. Did you actually know that the truck drew inspiration from the Ford F-150 Super Crew and the Lincoln Navigator? This truck featured a distinctive black wood pattern on its cargo box from which it derived its name. But here's something weird. 
Unlike traditional pickup trucks, the Blackwood boasted a notably limited cargo bed space. This was attributed to its unconventional design decision to incorporate a power-operated tonneau cover and carpeted interior, rendering it less practical for hauling big or dirty items. With only 3,383 units produced, it holds the distinction of being one of the rarest and shortest-lived Lincoln models ever manufactured, thus holding its status of secrecy high. On number 46, we have the Ford Sky Ranger 1991. Lay your eyes upon this fascinating piece the Ford Sky Ranger of 1991, which will surely ignite your imagination with its aerodynamic body and futuristic styling. Curious about its features? Let's unravel the mystery by revealing its advanced features for its time, such as cutting-edge suspension technology and efficient engine options. Truly, the Sky Ranger has left no stone unturned to showcase Ford's commitment to pushing the boundaries of pickup truck design. When it comes to the engine, the Sky Ranger offers a fuel-efficient and compact option and inline four engine. Additionally, a more powerful option could have been a V6 engine, providing increased performance. Well, also consider V8 engines as a popular choice for these trucks during the early 1990s. Surely, such innovative design and advanced features like those of the Ford Sky Ranger 1991 must have captivated your heart and soul. Yet, its under-the-radar status adds to its mystique earning it the title of a secret pickup. On number 45, we have the Jeep J10 Honcho, 1974. Did you know? The J10, often referred to as the Honcho, is widely known for its durability and unforgettable styling, making it a coveted addition to any collection, whether for daily driving or off-road adventures. It first debuted in 1974 by a company called American Motors Corporation, which no longer exists. The J10 lineup offered various trim levels, including the iconic Honcho, Golden Eagle, and 10.4. Sadly, the J-Series Jeep pickup truck was discontinued after a 26-year production run, yet it continues to captivate collectors with its timeless appeal. Wondering what lies under the hood? The J10 had different engine choices, ranging from a basic one with 112 horsepower to a powerful V8 with 225 horsepower. Although it's not easy to find these trucks today, Collectors still go crazy for them. Some fans even create their own versions of the honcho truck with fake accessories. The J10, especially the honcho, is a true symbol of American creativity and remains a popular choice among pickup truck enthusiasts. On number 44, we have the 1991 Ford F-150 Knight. Here's a fun fact. The Knight edition was inspired by the Knight itself, with its dark and stealthy appearance similar to the night sky. Thus, it was marketed as a truck designed for those who appreciate the night and its mysteries. Let's delve into this intriguing connection between night and night in detail. In fact, the Ford F-150 Knight features a distinctive all-black exterior appearance package, including black paint, blacked-out trim, and special graphics, giving it a sleek and mysterious aesthetic. Step inside and discover the custom interior with unique trim elements and special badging that enhance its overall exclusivity. Here are some engine specs ranging from the 4.9 liter inline 6 to the 5 liter V8, 5.8 liter V8, and the 7.5 liter V8, which is, of course, the largest one. Buyers have plenty of options to choose from. The F-150 Night Edition was produced in limited numbers, making it relatively rare compared to standard F-150 models. This sets it apart from the crowd. Enjoying the video so far? Then make sure you smash that like button right away. On number 43, we have the 2004 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi GTX. Shockingly, the Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi GTX was produced in limited numbers, with only 433 units ever built, adding to its allure and mystique. Be attentive as we disclose one of its standout features, which boasts of its powerful engine. It is equipped with a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 engine, delivering an impressive 345 horsepower and 375 pound-foot of torque. And yes, be absolutely ready for a thrilling driving experience. Note the unique features of special exterior styling cues, including unique badging, decals, and body enhancements, giving it a sporty and aggressive appearance. So, what else do you expect? On number 42, we have the 1984 Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser. Here comes an eye-catching pickup, painted in bold red with golden stripes, actually built to tackle icy roads in the northern states. Imagine it as a special winter edition, like the Amarillo GT, but for snow lovers. Crafted in 1984, the Snow Chaser was a version of the Chevrolet K1500, made only with four-wheel drive. 
It was marketed to places with harsh winters, where snow and salt wreak havoc. Its clever black lower paint hid a protective layer, guarding against rust caused by road salt. Here's a fun fact. Check out its cool flying bridge spoiler over the cab, giving it a unique look like a cobra's hood. Despite its unique features, only about 2,500 snow chasers were ever made, adding to its mysterious charm. Figuring out why it looks the way it does might be tricky, but one thing's for sure, spotting a snow chaser is like stumbling upon hidden treasure in the world of pickup trucks. On number 41, we have the 1987 Ford Bigfoot Cruiser. Allow me to increase the spice of secrecy with another pickup by Ford, the Bigfoot Cruiser. Surprisingly, it was like a secret upgrade available for the Ranger, F-150, and F-250 trucks. Imagine a pickup truck decked out with huge 33 or 35-inch tires, a powerful light bar, and a tough front bumper with a winch. That's the Bigfoot Cruiser. But did you know? It faced some serious problems. Let's find out what they were. Some trucks unexpectedly caught fire, which at first seemed to be because of extra parts added later, but it turned out to be an issue with the cruise control. Plus, a few accidents happened, and those big tires didn't always protect them. As expected, such threats led to legal trouble, and Ford had to recall the Bigfoot Cruiser, ending its mysterious journey. With its strong engine, automatic transmission, and other cool features, the Bigfoot Cruiser remains a fascinating mystery in truck history. On number 40, we have the 1977 GMC Sierra Indy 500. Would you believe it? The 1977 GMC Sierra Indy 500 truck was produced to commemorate GMC's participation as the official truck of the 1977 Indianapolis 500 race. It's a rare find that often slips under the radar of pickup fans. Feast your eyes on its sleek black design, spiced up with a stylish gradient stripe running its length. But that's not all. GMC went the extra mile by offering the Indy 500 package in stepside and fleet side versions, decked out with flashy fenders and rugged tires. This was a big deal. It marked the birth of the first real hot rod pickup from the Indy 500 program. As the star of the show, GMC made the Indy 500 pace truck edition of their Sierra pickup, available in both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive with different body styles to choose from. This edition sported a bold black and white paint job with flashy red stripes. And under the hood, you guessed it, a powerful V8 engine. Despite its unique features and tie-in with the Indy 500, GMC didn't heavily advertise or promote the Sierra Indy 500, leading to its status as a secret pickup. On number 39, we have the 1979 GMC Sierra Classic. Here pops up another timeless design of the 1979 GMC Sierra Classic that sets itself apart from the crowd through its bold lines, chrome accents, and distinctive front grille. Well, this model year offers a range of powerful V8 engine options, providing impressive performance and towing capabilities, from the 305 cubic inch V8 to the potent 454 cubic inch V8. So there's no need to worry, there is an engine to suit every need. And did you know, the Sierra Classic trim level was known for its luxurious interior appointments, offering comfort and convenience features that were ahead of its time. From plush seating to modern amenities, it provided a premium driving experience. What else could anyone want? Though this one was a popular model in its time, the 1979 edition holds a special place due to its limited production numbers. Still, there's no doubt its timeless design and robust performance continue to captivate audiences today. On number 38, we have the 1990 Dodge Ramrod Hall Signature Edition. Curious minds may be lingering over the term Rod Hall in its name. Allow me to clear this knot. The Rod Hall in its name pays homage to the legendary off-road racer Rod Hall. This special edition pickup was a collaboration between Dodge and Hall, blending high-performance features with off-road prowess. What makes it different from others? Its unique design elements include custom decals, badges, and sometimes even signature plaques from Rod Hall himself. Under the hood, several engine options are available, including a 5.2-liter V8 engine, a 5.9-liter V8 engine, and a Cummins turbo diesel. Therefore, one can choose wisely according to preferences and performance requirements. Here's an interesting fact. Despite its remarkable features and limited production, the 1990 Dodge Ramrod Hall Signature Edition remains relatively unknown to many. Its secretive nature adds an air of mystery and intrigue, further fueling interest among automotive enthusiasts. On number 37, we have the 1987 GMC Sierra California Sundancer. The California Sundancer was a regional special exclusively available in Southern California during 1987. 
painted in a vibrant bright yellow hue, reminiscent of the Golden State's sunny temperament. The Sundancer was designed to capture the essence of Southern California's sports truck market. Featuring a sunroof to further attract the buyers in the sunny climate, this limited edition pickup boasted unique features such as Smitty-built tubular steel bumpers, Bilstein gas pressure shock absorbers, and BF Goodrich radials mounted on 15 by 7 Mag Sprinter Western wheels. Despite its distinct charm, only a handful of these trucks were ever sold, leading to its insignificance in the automotive world. With its unmistakable appearance and limited availability, the California Sundancer remains a rare and intriguing find for enthusiasts seeking the lesser-known treasures of American pickup truck history. Hey there, folks. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. On number 36, we have the Dodge D100 Spirit of 1976. Introducing the Dodge D100 a special edition pickup truck released in celebration of America's bicentennial in 1976. The Spirit of 76 featured numerous red and blue designs and stripes all over the truck's white body. Its most notable feature, however, was its patriotic-themed decals and emblems, symbolizing the spirit of the nation during that time. You could get it with a standard 225 slant 6 engine or upgrade to a more powerful 318 V8. The interior was a little bit more premium, with color cloth and vinyl or all vinyl bench seats that followed the exterior theme. Finally, the finishing touches were courtesy of special bright wheel covers. Thanks to enthusiasts like Raymond Barnard, these hidden gems are getting the attention they deserve. Furthermore, its limited production added to its exclusivity. On number 35, we have the Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS2003. A special edition pickup truck named the Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS2003 holds a unique place in automotive history, so this one has its own tale to reveal. The Intimidator SS pays homage to NASCAR legend Dale Earnhardt, known as the Intimidator. It was released shortly after Earnhardt's tragic death in 2001, serving as a tribute to his legacy. This masterpiece has its own creative styling that attracts buyers with its handsome features, including special badging, unique exterior graphics, and custom interior enhancements. And don't you worry about power too, because this special edition also packs a punch under the hood. Equipped with performance upgrades, including the 5.0-liter V8 engine and 6.0-liter V8 engine. Furthermore, both engine options were paired with a 4-speed automatic transmission providing smooth and responsive shifting for a comfortable driving experience. But let me tell you one more fact that adds to its exclusivity. Only a limited number of Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS trucks were produced, making them rare and highly sought after by collectors. On number 34, we have the Chevrolet C10 Big 10 1978. In 1978, a special edition of the popular C10 lineup amazed everyone. This was the Chevrolet C10 Big 10. These trucks looked ordinary, but packed a punch, cleverly avoiding strict regulations with their hefty weight. The Big Ten, tipping the scales at 6,200 pounds, smartly skirted regulations, while its mighty 350CI and 454CI V8 engines roared like a 75 Corvette. But wait, do you know what makes it stand out? The Big Ten badge that crowns it. Well, these trucks had tough suspension and lots of engine choices, ideal for customizing and adored by truck fans everywhere. Its iconic design and rugged appeal have cemented its status as an enduring symbol of American automotive history. Despite its notable features and capabilities, its limited production numbers and understated marketing might be the prominent cause of making it somewhat of a secret among pickup trucks. On number 33, we have the Dodge D100, The Dude. 1969. It's quite common to hear about a handsome vehicle inspiring a movie, but have you ever heard of a movie inspiring a car? Well, the name The Dude was inspired by the character Jeff the Dude Lebowski from the cult classic film The Big Lebowski. This handsome art piece was featured with bold stripes and unique decals, giving it a distinctive appearance that set it apart from other pickups of its time. But did you know, this pickup was a marketing experiment? Yeah, you heard it right. Some automotive historians speculate that the dude was part of a marketing experiment by Dodge to appeal to a younger demographic. However, due to its limited production and relatively low visibility in the market, it remained largely unknown to the general public. Yet, mark my words, its rarity and unique designs still make enthusiasts eager to add one to their collections. 
Subscribe to my channel now to discover an amazing lineup of impressive pickups and their secret tales that will rev up your excitement and keep you thrilled. On number 32, we have the Dodge Gene Machine 1978. Remember the trend and fan following of denim? Let us surprise you with a version of denim theme design pickup truck. This is the Dodge Gene Machine, a special edition of the Dodge D-Series pickup truck released back in 1978. Just as its name hints, this pickup was featured with exterior paint options resembling the classic blue denim fabric commonly associated with jeans. The interior also boasted denim-like upholstery, contributing to its unique aesthetic. Did you know? The Dodge Gene Machine embodies the spirit of 1970s Americana, reflecting the era's fascination with denim fashion and customization. Its design serves as a nostalgic reminder of a bygone era, making it a cultural icon for those who appreciate retro aesthetics and automotive history. Being a special edition, its production was quite limited, which contributes to its status as a hidden gem among automotive enthusiasts. On number 31, we have the Dodge Midnight Express 1978. Here pops up another mysterious and ultra-rare Dodge Midnight Express. Manufactured for just a single year back in 1978 by Dodge, which makes it a highly exclusive choice. With only around 200 units ever produced, it stands as a prize collectible for those lucky enough to feast their eyes on it. The Dodge Midnight Express sets itself apart from its more famous fellow, the Dodge Lil' Red Express, with its distinctive and monstrous 440 cubic inch V8 engine. And would you believe it, this powerhouse was crafted by Dodge's exclusive Adult Toys line, making it an iconic classic pickup that defies expectations. Of course, the Midnight Express has its own touch that distinguishes it from the beloved Lil' Red, but at the same time, it inherits some striking similarities, like its unique exhaust pipes and gold pinstriping. However, its sleek black exterior and Midnight Express truck design set it apart, adding to its allure. While some may debate its standing compared to the Lil' Red, there's no denying the mystique surrounding the Dodge Midnight Express. With its limited production and unique origins, it remains a true hidden treasure in the world of pickup trucks. On number 30, we have the Dodge Shelby Dakota. The Shelby Dakota was a collaborative effort between Dodge and Carroll Shelby, the renowned automotive designer and performance enthusiast. Under the hood lies a super powerful engine, featuring a 5.2-liter V8 that produces 175 horsepower. Further, it is highly known for its looks as well. Its unique styling cues, including special graphics, body cladding, and a distinctive front fascia with quad headlights added to its exclusivity. Additionally, it offers performance upgrades such as stiffer suspension, upgraded brakes, and a limited slip rear differential. These enhancements further boosted its performance credentials. Sadly, the production of the Dodge Shelby Dakota was limited to just 1,475 units over two model years, 1989 and 1990. Thus, this pickup fits perfectly into our list. On number 29, we have the Chevrolet S10 EV. Are you aware of the secret fact that the Chevrolet S10 EV is also known as the GMC S15 EV? Well, it was one of the first modern electric pickups, debuting in the early 1990s when electric vehicles were still in their infancy. And when it comes to range, it could cover quite a distance. Surprisingly, it could travel up to 90 miles on a single charge, which was quite respectable for an electric vehicle of that era, such that it would go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 10 seconds, making it a quick and nimble pickup. Like other electric vehicles, one could operate it silently. You could also enjoy innovative technology for its time, including regenerative braking to help extend its range and improve efficiency. And for those who are worried about environmental impact, this one would surely suit you as it emitted zero tailpipe emissions, making it an eco-friendly choice. But wait, the Chevrolet S10 EV had a short production run, which makes it relatively unknown to many. Yet, its legacy as one of the early electric pickups paved the way for the development of modern electric trucks, such as the Tesla Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T. On number 28, we have the Ford F250 Bigfoot Cruiser. Did you know? The Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser is part of the renowned Bigfoot monster truck lineage, which gained fame for its immense size and off-road capabilities. So, for those who are looking for power with the practicality of a pickup truck, this one is for you. It's no wonder that whether tackling mud, rocks, or rough terrain, this pickup is designed to conquer any obstacle in its path. 
As for engine options, one has a choice of gasoline engines and diesel engines. Here's a fun fact. Each Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser is custom built to embody the spirit of the Bigfoot brand. These trucks undergo extensive modifications, including raised suspension, oversized wheels and tires, and distinctive bodywork, making them truly one of a kind. While its specialty rises in height, as I reveal that it is crafted in limited numbers, its status as a hidden gem in the world of pickups is quite relevant. On number 27, we have the GMC Railroad Crew Cab. The GMC Railroad Crew Cab was custom built specifically for railroad companies to meet their unique transportation needs. It was not a mass-produced model available to the general public. The plus point of this pickup is that it offers an extended cab design with extra seating capacity, allowing it to accommodate more crew members or equipment. It is engineered with heavy-duty components that would surely meet one's demands of withstanding railroad maintenance and transportation tasks. Moreover, it is specialized in tool storage compartments, heavy-duty towing capabilities, and enhanced suspension systems. However, the fact that cannot be denied is that the GMC Railroad Crew Cab was designed for a specific niche market within the railroad industry, making it largely unknown to the broader automotive community. Thus, its limited documentation or marketing efforts make it unknown to the crowd. On number 26, we have the 1975 GMC Sierra Classic Gentleman Jim. The 1975 GMC Sierra Classic Gentleman Jim holds a special place in the hearts of pickup truck enthusiasts, not only for its distinctive style, but also for its intriguing backstory. And what does this tale say? Let's find out. The design of the Gentleman Jim was inspired by NASCAR racer Jim Williams who is known for his success on the track. The truck's name pays homage to his nickname, and its styling reflects the spirit of racing and performance. Welcome to the Gentleman Jim, featuring a plush interior with high-quality materials and upscale features, such as wood grain trim and special badging. This would truly offer a comfortable and refined driving experience, appealing to buyers looking for both style and comfort in a pickup truck. To add on, its unique styling elements include a two-tone paint scheme, typically with a bold dark blue and white combination, along with special decals and trim, giving it a sophisticated and upscale appearance. But this artistic innovation is very rare to find, so even if you crave it, gaining more luck to own one may be a challenge. We're halfway done. I hope you've spotted some new pickups you've never heard of before. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive updates from our informative channel first. On number 25, we have the 1963 to 1987 Jeep Gladiator and J Series trucks. The Jeep Gladiator and J Series trucks were among the first pickup trucks to incorporate an integrated cab and bed design. These trucks were highly versatile, serving both civilian and military purposes. One could expect them to be utilized by various industries, including agriculture, construction, and forestry, showcasing their adaptability in diverse environments. From the J10 to the J20 and beyond, the Gladiator and J-Series trucks offered a wide range of models with varying payloads and capabilities to suit different needs. So yeah, this diversity is one of the major reasons they are so popular. Moreover, they had a significant influence on the development of modern pickup trucks as their design elements and engineering innovations laid the groundwork for future generations of trucks. However, Compared to other well-known pickup trucks of their time, such as those from Chevrolet or Ford, the production numbers of the Jeep Gladiator and J-Series trucks were relatively limited. Thus, they find their way into our collection of secret pickups. On number 24, we have the 1976 to 1977 Chevy Blazer Chalet. The Chevy Blazer Chalet continues to fascinate its buyers with its most attractive aspects, its camper conversion, produced by Chinook, a company known for its camper conversions, the Chalet turned the Blazer into a versatile recreational vehicle, equipped with a pop-up camper top that provided extra headroom and sleeping space. So, meeting everyone's expectations, the Chalet became a must-have for adventure seekers, equipped with a range of features including a fold-out stove, sink, refrigerator, and even a dinette table, making it perfect for camping trips and off-road excursions. Under the hood, it offers a range of engine options to suit different preferences and performance needs, including inline 6 and V8 engine options for a satisfying driver experience. Despite its unique features and capabilities, the Chevy Blazer Chalet remains relatively unknown to many automotive enthusiasts. This is partly due to its limited production numbers, with only around 1,800 units reportedly produced between 1976 and 1977. 
On number 23, we have the 2008 to 2010 Hummer H3 Alpha. Presenting the Hummer H3 Alpha, boasting its powerful engine. Unlike its predecessors, which typically featured inline 5 or inline 6 engines, the H3 Alpha boasted a robust 5.3 liter V8 engine. This engine generated an impressive 300 horsepower and 320 pound foot of torque, giving the H3 Alpha exceptional performance both on and off the road. Truly, it is blessed with the ability to tackle challenging off road terrain with ease. It's equipped with features like an off-road suspension system, skid plates, and optional front and rear locking differentials. And now, lay your eyes on iconic Hummer styling cues with unique badging, grille design, and interior trim elements that set it apart from other H3 models. Here's a notable fact. The Hummer H3 Alpha was produced in limited numbers during its brief production run from 2008 to 2010. This exclusivity adds to its mystique, making it a sought-after gem among automotive enthusiasts. On number 22, we have the 1942 to 1959 Napco Chevy and GMC trucks. Wondering what Napco suggests? Napco stands for Northwestern Auto Parts Company, probably known for its innovative four-wheel drive conversions. During the 1940s and 1950s, Chevrolet and GMC trucks were primarily two-wheel drive. However, Napco offered conversion kits to transform these trucks into powerful four-wheel drive machines. Did you know about its historical significance? During World War II, Napco conversions were utilized in military applications, enhancing the truck's off-road capabilities for various operations. This pickup is highly versatile and capable of handling various tasks ranging from farm work to off-road exploration, thus making them popular among rural communities. As for horsepower and torque output, one may find it varying because that depends on the specific engine configuration and any modifications made over the years. In general, engines from this era produced modest power, typically ranging from around 90 to 160 horsepower, with torque figures varying accordingly. Mark my words, Napco conversions were relatively rare as they were not factory installed options. Instead, they were installed by dealerships or aftermarket specialists, contributing to their status as secret pickups. On number 21, we have the 1978 Dodge Power Wagon Top Hand, introduced as a special edition model. The Dodge Power Wagon Top Hand was designed to cater to a niche market segment, offering distinct styling touches and features that one could not find in regular production models. To be specific, it was inspired by the ruggedness and durability required for ranch and farm work, embodying the spirit of the American West. Its design elements often incorporated Western-themed accents, paying homage to its roots. Of course, it was highly capable of offering impressive off-road capabilities and stealing your heart with its bold exterior styling, including custom paint schemes, unique badging, and often upgraded trim packages. As the name itself includes the term power, it might have raised one's expectations for its engine specs. So, as a rough estimate, power outputs range from around 150 horsepower to 230 horsepower, with torque figures ranging from approximately 260 to 330 pound-foot of torque. But its limited visibility in mainstream automotive circles adds to its mystique and, hence, it is highly sought after by collectors. Which other trucks do you think we have in store for you today? Go leave your guesses in the comments down below. On number 20, we have the GMC Sierra Mule. The 1979 GMC Sierra Classic shines as a beacon of reliability. Despite flying under the radar among the famous CK models, this distinctive square body truck earned its stripes as a dependable workhorse on farms and construction sites. But what makes this truck truly special? Well, it was a pioneer in embracing diesel engines, making a shift in the pickup market. Plus, it came in different flavors like Sierra, Sierra Grand, High Sierra, and the top of the line Sierra Classic, each with its own unique charm. In times when Ford's truck sales dominated, the 1979 GMC Classic stood tall as a worthy competitor, and today, collectors hunt far and wide for this elusive gem, drawn by its fascinating history and features. On number 20, we have the 2010 to 2014 Ford SVT Raptor. The SVT Raptor was actually built with the purpose of fulfilling off-road performance needs. Therefore, it came with specially tuned suspension, off-road tires, and a reinforced frame to tackle challenging terrain with ease. 
Furthermore, it was equipped with a potent 5.4-liter V8 engine, producing 310 horsepower initially, and later upgraded to a massive 6.2-liter V8 engine, generating 411 horsepower. This was done to make it more accelerative and enhance its towing capabilities. And wait, it has more to offer. The advanced off-road technology, such as a terrain management system with selectable drive modes for various off-road conditions, hill descent control, and an electric locking rear differential, turned it into a beast. No wonder, with its bold styling cues, including flared fenders, aggressive grille, and distinctive badging, the SVT Raptor stands out from the crowd. Its imposing presence on the road commands attention wherever it goes. Thus, truly, it is a hidden gem in the world of automotive. On number 18, we have the 1979-1985 Toyota Hilux Pickup. A legend in the world of automotive is the Toyota Hilux Pickup, exceptionally known for its durability and reliability. The Hilux finds extensive use in military operations and humanitarian missions worldwide. Its versatility makes it an ideal vehicle for navigating challenging environments, delivering supplies, and providing aid in disaster-stricken areas. As for power output, it varies according to the engine choice and specific tuning, but typically ranges from approximately 72 horsepower for the smaller gasoline engines to around 105 horsepower for the larger gasoline engines. For those who offer diesel engines, they generally produce slightly lower horsepower figures but offer higher torque, making them suitable for heavy-duty applications and off-road driving. Here's a fact. Some iterations of the Toyota Hilux, particularly customized versions tailored for specific purposes such as military or industrial use, were produced in limited numbers and not widely advertised or sold to the public. On number 17, we have the 1972-1979 to Datsun 620. The Datsun 620 was one of the earliest pickup trucks to depict a modern design, diverging from the traditional boxy shapes of its predecessors. Its sleek lines and compact size made it stand out in the crowded pickup market of the time. It was compact and nimble, making it well-suited for urban environments and tight spaces, thus fulfilling the driver's need for a versatile vehicle for both work and everyday use. Here's an interesting fact. The Datsun 620 was one of the first pickups to feature independent front suspension, improving its ride comfort and handling compared to older models. This engineering innovation set a new standard for future generations of pickups. Would you believe it? While Datsun pickups were primarily associated with the Japanese market, the 620 gained popularity worldwide. Its reputation for reliability and affordability helped establish Datsun as a major player in the global automotive industry. On number 16. We had the 2005 to 2014 Dodge Power Wagon. As mentioned earlier, the Dodge Power Wagon has a rich heritage dating back to the 1940s when it was first introduced as a military truck during World War II. Its revival in 2005 brought back nostalgic memories for many automotive enthusiasts. The 2005 to 2014 Power Wagon boasted a distinct appearance with bold styling cues, including a prominent grille, flared fenders, and a rugged stance. Such a unique aesthetic set it apart from other pickups on the market. Exceptionally, it came equipped with a powerful Hemi V8 engine and an advanced four-wheel drive system capable of towing heavy loads and tackling challenging trails with ease, thus earning a never-fading reputation as a highly capable off-road pickup of its time. One can expect a power output of 5.7-liter Hemi V8 for 2005-2010 to 2010 models, while with gradual upgrades, the 6.4-liter Hemi V8 was introduced in 2014. So what more could you possibly expect? On number 15, we have the 1981-1985 Jeep CJ8 Scrambler. The CJ8 Scrambler differs from traditional Jeeps of its time because of its distinctive design, featuring a longer wheelbase. This extended wheelbase allowed for a small pickup bed while retaining the classic Jeep appearance. Doesn't it deserve applause for its innovative craftsmanship? Do let us know in the comments. It offered impressive versatility, handling off-road terrain with ease while still providing a comfortable ride on paved roads. It served dual purposes as both a recreational vehicle and a functional pickup truck. Its compact size made it suitable for navigating difficult roads, while its pickup bed provided ample cargo space for hauling gear, making it an ideal choice for camping trips, off-road adventures, and everyday utility. Yet, when we compare it to other Jeep models of its era, the CJ8 Scrambler had relatively low production numbers, making it a rare find today. But don't worry, 
despite such reasons, it left a lasting impact on popular culture. On number 14, we have the 2007 Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson Supercharged, a special edition resulting from a collaboration between Ford and the iconic motorcycle manufacturer Harley-Davidson. The best part is that this partnership brought together the best of both worlds. Ford's expertise in building trucks and Harley-Davidson's legendary brand appeal. Under the hood lies a potent 5.4-liter V8 engine equipped with a supercharger, boosting its performance to exhilarating levels. This powertrain delivers impressive horsepower and torque, providing an exhilarating driving experience. And when it comes to looks, be sure to feast yourself on the 2007 Ford F-150 Harley-Davidson supercharged distinctive styling cues that set it apart from the standard F-150 models. It features unique exterior accents such as Harley-Davidson badges, chrome details, and special paint options, giving it a bold and unmistakable appearance. It's a handsome package inside out. Yeah, you heard it right. Its premium interior with luxurious touches would astonish you. From leather-trimmed seats adorned with Harley-Davidson logo to unique trim accents and high-tech features, this truck offers a level of comfort and sophistication that stands out from the crowd. Ford only produced a limited number of these special edition trucks, making them relatively rare and exclusive. Additionally, not everyone may be aware of this unique collaboration between Ford and Harley-Davidson, further adding to its secretive allure. So let's leave it up to you. Let us know in the comments if you would prefer it. And if yes, don't forget to mention the reason. On number 13, we have the 1953-1956 F100. The F100 represented a significant departure from previous old-fashioned Ford truck designs, featuring a sleeker, more modern appearance compared to its predecessors. Shockingly, Ford introduced the style-side bed option in 1957, but only a few know that its origins can be traced back to the F100 of 1953-1956. This innovative design incorporated a full-width bed with integrated fenders, maximizing cargo space and providing a more contemporary look. It introduced several comfort and convenience features, including improved seating ergonomics, optional power steering, and a revamped interior layout aimed at enhancing driver comfort during long hauls. Furthermore, its mechanical advancements were equally noteworthy. Ford introduced more powerful engine options during this period, including the venerable Y-Block V8 engines, providing increased horsepower and torque for improved performance. This innovation did live, but only for a short production span, yet managed to attain cultural icon status within the automotive world. On number 12, we have the Lamborghini LM002. The Lamborghini LM002 is like no other pickup truck you've ever seen. Instead of a regular engine in the back, it has a powerful V12 engine in the front, giving it an incredible 450 horsepower. This beast weighs almost 3 tons and has tough tires that can handle any surface. Don't be fooled by its size. The LM00 is super fast, reaching speeds of 130 miles per hour in just 7.8 seconds. It can even climb steep hills with gradients up to 120%. It's not just a truck. It's a combination of power and luxury. And if you thought that was impressive, wait until you hear about the special editions. One was even made for a prince with a trunk in the back. The Lamborghini LM002 is more than just a truck. It's a symbol of luxury and strength that still wows people today. On number 11, we have the 1967 to 1969 Kaiser Jeep M715. Did you know the hidden story of the 1969 to 1969 Kaiser Jeep M715? Originally designed as a military vehicle for use by the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War era, the M715 was well suited for various military tasks, including transportation and reconnaissance, thanks to its well-versed off-road capabilities. After its military service, many M715 trucks were sold off as surplus and found their way into civilian hands. This transition from military to civilian use added to the mystique surrounding the vehicle as it became a rare find on the consumer market. Equipped with a powerful engine, the M715 was a heavy-duty performance pickup. The horsepower output varied depending on the specific model and configuration, but it typically ranged from around 140 to 150 horsepower. Over time, it earned a reputation for being a workhorse in both military and civilian applications. Of course, it neither compromised on looks, with its angular body lines and iconic front grille. 
Its utilitarian design reflects its military origins and sets it apart from other pickups of its time, making it instantly recognizable to enthusiasts. Despite having a fascinating history, it stood out as a secret pickup due to its military origins, unique design, limited production numbers, and enduring appeal among collectors. We're close to our top 10. Hope this video helps keep you more updated about the automotive world. If you're excited to know which ones are coming up, go ahead and smash that like button right away. On number 10, we have the 1986 to 1997 Nissan Hardbody 4x4. The Nissan Hardbody astonished buyers with its innovative design features for its time, including independent front suspension and more refined interior compared to its competitors. These features contributed to its smooth ride and comfortable driving experience. Being highly capable, it was designed to handle tasks from daily commuting to off-road adventures and hauling heavy loads, thus excelling in various roles and showcasing its versatility and practicality. Its compact size also made it adaptable in urban environments, appealing to a wide range of drivers. After a shining sign of success over the years, the Nissan Hardbody has achieved a legendary status. Many owners praise its ability to withstand years of use and abuse with minimal maintenance, further adding to its mystique as a hidden gem in the pickup truck world, thus proving itself to be a real marvel in the world of pickups. On number 9, we have the 1947 to 2014 Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Are you aware? The Unimog, basically a short form of Universal Motor Garat, which translates to Universal Motor Equipment, was initially designed as an agricultural utility vehicle, but then evolved into a multi-purpose off-road truck. It's known for its ability to tackle a wide range of tasks, from farming and forestry to military and municipal applications. This alone hints at its exceptional off-road performance. In detail, with portal axles providing high ground clearance, differential locks, and adaptable tire inflation systems, they can traverse challenging terrains like mud, snow, and rocky landscapes with ease. No doubt, it's an engineering marvel. How so? Let me tell you. Its flexible chassis design allows for mounting various implements and attachments, making it adaptable to different tasks. Additionally, its approach and departure angles are unmatched enabling it to conquer steep inclines and descents effortlessly. I hope this is enough to make you nod in agreement that it is truly a marvel. On number 8, we have the Mazda Rotary Engine Pickup. Did you know? The Mazda Rotary Engine Pickup was popularly known as the Mazda Repo. It was introduced back in 1974 and was likely the world's first and only rotary-powered pickup truck. It featured a 1.5-liter 13B rotary engine, which was also used in Mazda sports cars like the RX-7. Though Mazda also produced an inline four-cylinder engine, the rotary remains the hottest mini pickup around. It's so quick, in fact, that for off-road competition, it's classed with the big trucks, not with the minis. Additionally, its compact size and distinctive design with square headlights and a bold grille have made it popular for its uniqueness. It had a short production run, with only around 15,000 units built between 74 and 1977, making it a rare gem today. No doubt, it remains a beloved and iconic part of Mazda's history and heritage. On number 7, we have the Fiat Fullback. Guess what? The upcoming pickup is a collaboration between the Italian automobile manufacturer Fiat Chrysler and Japanese automaker Mitsubishi Motors. Yeah, it's the Fiat Fullback a pickup with versatile capabilities, whether it's hauling cargo, towing, or navigating challenging roads. It's always ready. Wondering about its engine capabilities? Here you have it. Under the hood, you can choose from a range of efficient engine options, including turbocharged diesel engines that deliver strong performance. The maximum power that this pickup offers is 113 to 154 at 3500 with an instant torque of 380 pound-foot at 1500 to 2500 RPM, helping you maintain fuel efficiency. No doubt, it superbly prioritizes practicality with features such as a spacious cabin, ample storage compartments, and durable materials. It's designed to withstand the challenges of everyday use while providing comfort and convenience for occupants. On number 6. We have the KGM Musso. The KGM Musso is a lesser known gem in the world of pickup trucks. Manufactured back in the late 1990s by Seongyang Motors, a South Korean automobile manufacturer, this pickup boasted a distinctive design. With its bold styling cues and rugged appearance, it crowned itself as an eye catcher. And would you expect it to handle off-roading tactics? If not, 
then be prepared to be disappointed because it does. Equipped with robust four-wheel drive systems and sturdy suspension, it could tackle challenging terrains with ease, making it a favorite among adventure enthusiasts. To add to the boon, it has a spacious interior too. With ample legroom and comfortable seating, it offered a pleasant driving experience for both drivers and passengers, distinguishing itself from competitors in its class. Yet, for no apparent reason, it had limited marketing efforts, earning it the status of a secret pickup among automotive enthusiasts. We're close to the top 5. If you're eager to see which ones make the cut, don't hesitate to smash that like button right away. On number 5, we have the Darts Prombron. The Darts Prombron is renowned for its extreme levels of luxury and armored protection. It's often referred to as one of the world's most luxurious and secure vehicles. With features like bulletproof windows, bomb-resistant exteriors, and lavish interiors adorned with exotic materials like gold and diamond accents, it's primarily observed that celebrities, politicians, and wealthy individuals own it in their collections. What makes it so special? Darts is known for its eccentric and sometimes controversial designs. They produce limited edition models featuring unusual materials such as whale penis leather upholstery, which stirred significant controversy in the automotive world. Darts offers extensive customization options for the Prombron, which is an additional benefit for buyers. While its limited production contributes to the secrecy surrounding the brand, as many of its models are rarely seen on the roads. So what do you think about the combination of luxury, security, and customization, and controversy of this pickup? Do let us know in the comments. On number 4, we have the Toyota Land Cruiser Pickup. Did you know? The Toyota Land Cruiser Pickup traces its roots back to the early 1950s when the first generation, known as the Toyota BJ, was developed as a rugged military vehicle, introducing a beast that dares to challenge the world's most difficult terrains, from deserts and mountains to jungles. The fearless off-roading pickup, Toyota Land Cruiser. This pickup is available in various configurations to suit different needs. Additionally, it offers various engine options according to the model year. For newer models, you can find a 4-liter V6 that produces around 235 horsepower, while for those who particularly prefer diesel engines, it is equipped with a 4.5-liter V8 diesel engine. And for those who crave comfort, don't you worry. The Land Cruiser pickup offers a comfortable and spacious interior, making it suitable for both work and leisure. It can be used as a utility vehicle for hauling cargo or as a family adventure vehicle for exploring off-the-beaten-path destinations. Undoubtedly, it has left a significant cultural impact beyond its utility. And, of course, its popularity is evident from being spotted in numerous movies, documentaries, and travelogues over the years. This marvelous pickup is also popular among customizers and aftermarket modifiers, who often enhance its off-road capabilities or tailor it for specific uses, such as overlanding or expedition vehicles. It's worth noting that this customization culture contributes to the uniqueness and rarity of individual Land Cruiser pickups. Here's an interesting fact. Toyota has released several special editions of the Land Cruiser pickup over the years, featuring exclusive styling cues, upgraded features, and sometimes commemorative badges. These editions often have a limited production run, making them rare finds for enthusiasts. Despite the introduction of newer models and advancements in automotive technology, the classic Land Cruiser pickup retains its appeal among purists and nostalgic enthusiasts. And, of course, vintage Land Cruiser pickups in good condition command high prices in the collector's market. On number 3, we have the Chevrolet C1500 454SS. Let's reveal the pickup with powerhouse performance. The Chevrolet C1500 454SS, equipped with a massive 7.4-liter V8 engine that produced an impressive 255 horsepower and 405 pound-foot of torque. This power plant made it one of the most potent trucks of its time, known for its exhilarating acceleration and towing capabilities. It is no less in styling, boasting looks to attract crowd. Featuring a sleek and sporty design, it boasted monochromatic paint schemes, distinctive decals, and unique styling cues, setting it apart from other trucks on the road. The lowered suspension and alloy wheels further enhance its aggressive appearance. No doubt, this masterpiece was designed with performance in mind, as the 454SS came equipped with sport-tuned suspension, performance exhaust, and a heavy-duty automatic transmission. 
thanks to such enhancements. It contributed to its impressive handling and driving dynamics, setting the stage for a thrilling driving experience. Here comes its most inspiring trait. Its legacy continues to influence the design and engineering of Chevrolet trucks. How? Let's find out. The 454SS sincerely paved the way for the development of other high-performance trucks in Chevrolet's lineup, inspiring successors like the Silverado SS and the modern-day Silverado 1500 with performance packages. But sadly, it was produced for only three model years from 1990 to 1993, making it a rare sight on the streets. Its limited availability adds to its mystique, making it a sought-after collector's item among truck enthusiasts. On number two, we have the Ford Courier. The Ford Courier wasn't just confined to one market. It was produced and sold globally, appearing in various forms across different continents. And did you know, it wasn't solely a Ford creation. In many markets, it was actually a product of collaborations and joint ventures with other automakers. For example, in the United States, the Ford Courier was actually a rebadged Mazda B-Series truck. This partnership between Ford and Mazda brought about a unique blend of design and engineering. Let me tell you, the first generation of the Ford Courier was introduced in 1972. It featured a compact design and was available in both two-wheel and four-wheel drive configurations. This generation continued until 1976. This pickup had a compact size which made it a perfect choice for urban environments and practical for everyday use. Unexpectedly, it earned a reputation for its durability and reliability, making it a favorite among owners who needed a dependable workhorse. And for those concerned about its engine specs, here they are. Many early models of the Ford Courier were equipped with inline four engines, including engines around 1.8 to 2 liters. Moreover, you could get it with diesel engines too, for improved fuel efficiency and torque. In later years of production, particularly in the 1980s, some versions of the Ford Courier were offered with V6 engines for increased power and performance. While the Ford Courier itself is not extremely rare, there are some variants and special editions that are quite uncommon. For example, there were limited production models like the Ford Courier Sundowner, which featured unique styling cues and trim packages. However, the Ford Courier ceased production in the United States in 1982. Despite such handsome features, it was overlooked in the market and hence found its way onto our list of secret pickups. Are you ready for number one? I know I am. On number one, we have the GMC Caballero. The GMC Caballero, often dubbed as the gentleman's pickup, is indeed a fascinating choice in the world of automotive history. The name Caballero is Spanish for gentleman or knight. This name choice reflects the vehicle's unique blend of car-like comfort with pickup truck utility, catering to a more refined demographic. This pickup is closely related to the Chevrolet El Camino. Both vehicles share the same platform and were produced by General Motors during the same time period. However, the main difference lies in branding and minor styling cues. The Caballero is a short-lived model by GMC from 1978 to 1987. Now, the question arises, what makes it different? The answer to it is looks. Its sleek and aerodynamic design exudes a sense of sophistication that was unconventional for pickups of its time. Like its counterpart, the El Camino, the Caballero also offers versatility for buyers who want the hauling capabilities of a pickup truck combined with the comfort and style of a car. It provided ample cargo space while still being practical for everyday driving. The GMC Caballero offered various engine options throughout its production run. In the early years, it came equipped with a 3.3-liter Chevrolet V6 engine, but soon from 1982, it was upgraded to a 3.8-liter Buick V6 engine. It was also available with V8 engines, including the 4.3-liter, 5-liter, and 5.7-liter, so one could choose according to their needs. In fact, in some model years, the Caballero was available with a diesel engine option, providing improved fuel efficiency and torque for towing. Here's a tip. It's important to note that specific engine offerings and specifications could vary based on the model year and market region, so it's always best to refer to the owner's manual or consult official documentation for precise details on a particular vehicle. Back to our Caballero. It still holds its popularity being a rare of its kind and a favorite among enthusiasts. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the 50 secret pickup trucks of all time you've never seen. From obscure prototypes to limited production marvels, we've uncovered all the treasured rare and fascinating vehicles that have left an indelible mark on automotive history. As we reflect back on such diverse pickup lineups, one thing becomes abundantly clear. 
The world of automotive enthusiasts is as rich and varied as the trucks themselves. Now it's your turn to rate the pickup you like the most from our collection in the comments section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video from us. We hope that your passion for pickups continues to drive you forward on the road less traveled. Until next time, happy trucking!